Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I am Liz Quinn, your star Scentsy consultant. So today what I have for you is a happy haul of summer collection things, a few things from the catalog, and first sniffs of the Inside Out Wax Collection and the extra bar that is the what Welcome to Imagination Land Bing Bong Bar 2. So I have all that, and I hope that we will have a wonderful time. Let's dive right on in. When you have a party closeout, you can get half offs and there's a certain amount of credits and I had been waiting a while to redeem everything from this party so I'd have a good bit. So one of the things that I would probably not pay full price for but I do enjoy are our mini size cotton cleanups because I do use a lot of mini warmers and especially since I just redid our dining room and I'm kind of moving things around, I am finding that the baseboard mini warmer situation is more important for me than a lot of big ones in certain places now. So I will probably be using Using credits or rewards or half offs to continue to use these because of my mini warmer addiction. Now for the large warmers, the cotton cleanups that were the old ones, I think they were a better price and they definitely did more warmers, but these are ideal for just two or three little cubes of wax here and there to clean up, which is kind of where I'm at. Because most of the time my big ones like this, I'll turn them all off at night and then I will change them cold in the morning. But the minis I'll often leave on and they'll have uh, the warm wax in them and it's easier just to use the cotton cleanup. So those are very nice. I got a few scent circles and a couple of car bars because we're constantly using these, especially in my husband's carpet cleaning van. So I got the trio from the Father's Day collection. I have loved these as bars. And so I'm hoping that I will really like this special little bundle in scent circles. Day on the field is very fresh. Black Tie Affair is one of my favorites. This is a beautiful bar with vetiver and tobacco and vanilla in it and a little bit of grapefruit. And Open Air Exploring is nice and fresh. It should be nice in the car. And then I think I did a trio of car bars. Squeeze a Day, which of course is for Greg. Bonfire Beach, which is one of my favorites for the summertime. If you've never tried that in any product, please get the bar. Try it in a car bar and whatever else they offer it is the best and then coconut lemongrass is my preferred more like clean fresh and sharp scent to squeeze today because that's more of a Gregory thing so those are great then I had a few bars that were just either catalog or in clearance and I have not looked to see if the updated clearance if some of these special bars I just have a couple here have already sold out I would assume that these two one of them was the pumpkin cashmere that was the scent of the month I think last October or November I'm not thinking that's coming back for anything. And then Fall Feelin' is one of my favorite bars from last season, and it looks like that is also not coming back, and I had taken it out of my club because it's a strong bar, and I have a pile now, and I'm not going to need too many, but you can pick up one more in clearance, right? But out of the regular catalog, White Amber and Silk, I'm out of. This is the most beautiful, elegant cotton scent. <sighs> Perfect on a day where you want fresh, but you don't want full-on laundry. Then in our summer collection, Pink Pineapple and Sugar, which I have here in another super cute product from the summer collection, is so nice. It's almost creamy, sort of like a sugar scrub that you'd use in the bathtub, and gentle with that pineapple and the sugar and just a really nice summery pink sweetness. Sunset Sky and Strawberry. This is a really good performer, medium level but long lasting. From our summer collection, one of the most unique strawberry scents I have had from Scentsy because it's got the woods and then it's got the strawberry and it's just fruity and very beautiful. Really, really like this. Here is the aforementioned pumpkin cashmere, which I, if I went downstairs, I probably have 10 of these now. This was not a popular bar last year, but I really like it. It's got cashmere, it has like an acorn sort of a thing, almost like a little bit of a brown sugar or oaky sweet smell and the pumpkin and I really like it and I guess everybody else hated it. So I keep trying to pick up more of it. Mango matcha that's in the catalog, so good. This is one of the best unique fruit smells. It's got the mango, it has the salted cucumber, it's got the matcha tea, really, really good for a bright sunny summer day, it throws very well. So here's the fall feeling bar that this is super funky woodsy fall. Oh, it's so good. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go and or get some more out of clearance if it's still there because like I said, I have a small stack, but I took it out of my club. This has juniper. It's super strong though, so like two cubes will do ya. <laughs> Probably in this whole front space or maybe even a couple rooms. And that's rare, because most Scentsy bars, let's just say, if you're newer to Scentsy, like this pink pineapple and sugar, I would use that whole bar in different warmers all over the house, whereas something like this, 
is so strong that if you use that same amount of wax, you're gonna feel choked out of your home. So it's got the juniper, I think it has some blood orange. It's got a little bit of, oh, I don't even remember the notes, but it's woodsy fall goodness, I love it. Okay, kukui and coconut. If the summer sunshine would just stay around, I would have this in my house very soon. I love this bar for like June, July, August. Beautiful golden nut suntan bronzer oil scent, so nice. It's got macadamia, it's got some sort of a kukui nut, and I think that there's a floral in here, but it doesn't come off like sweet and floral, it just comes off bronzer beautiful. Then at the moment we have a really cool Puerto Rican collection with sea breeze as the bar, that and the coolest warmer with this little tiny frog that's native to Puerto Rico in it, in the dish. It's so cute, it's like sticking out of the top, the little face on the frog. Oh, this is so good. So this is sort of like you take Blue Grotto and then make it seaside tropical and breezy. Just absolutely beautiful with some orange. And then a Bonfire Beach the Bar because I will melt tons of this over the summer. It's marshmallowy. It's got flint. It's got a uh, sort of a not really smoldery like around the campfire at all, but just very slight woodsy smoldery scent. And it's sweet and it's very complex. Lasts a long time. And one of our new releases spring summer is Sun Castles, which is really nice. This just puts a smile on my face. It's almond, coconut, pistachio. It almost smells like there's some pineapple in here. Very, very good, sunny and bright and happy. So then when it comes to other catalog things before we do summer collection, I do have the Shore Why Not Mini. I have been looking at this for years and because it's a bunch of little rocks that are glued onto the side of the mini warmer, I've been hesitant to get it. I've also been hoping for years that we would get that we would get a full size like this. And I think at one time, and I just lost my computer page for the inside out bars. Uh, I think at one time I might've seen that Europe got this as a full size. If any of you watch me from across the pond, will you tell me, was there ever a full size that matched this or was very close to it? Cause I've just been hoping and hoping for something to go with it. And so I never bought it. So my Aloha spirit turtles close enough. Anyway, this is so pretty so so pretty and it comes with a base that goes into your baseboards but i think it'll be easier to show you on a mini tabletop base which is separate i believe those are 15 dollars a piece but it makes these so much more versatile oh so pretty oh, look guys look at all that texture that beautiful turquoise and just sandy it's really hard for you guys to see this beautiful sandy gorgeous little mini warmer and I hope that it doesn't shed. I guess we'll find out. But I've wanted this for a really long time. So I just finally broke down and did it because I just had to. So that leads me into the Aloha Spirit Turtle Warmer that is the only warmer in our summer collection this year. And it's so cute. Oh, I can't wait to put this out. Probably I'll put this in the hoarder room. We'll see. And if you've been following me on Instagram or you watched my last video, which I did in the redone dining room right behind me where I've had this red hutch from Ikea for years. And I also have this reddish orange couch that will be leaving this fall. We're getting a new, it's a flex steel, very nice that we had to order it. And it's going to take a long time. A reclining couch that's going to go in the back room to replace the old red Ikea one because the hutch and the couch went together. They were a set. I've had them for forever. The couch is starting to show wear and I was sick of dealing with the red hutch even though it was beautiful and it photographed well. I put in these two new little modern threshold pieces from Target that are just so much more petite. I like them. They're black with the very current arch shape and I put some new decor on the wall which I can swap out which will be so much fun and all that jazz. So anyway, I also got two new rugs which we desperately needed new rugs with the dogs that we have even with my husband being a carpet cleaner. So the back room when it's all done which will be in the fall when I get that delivery should go very nicely because I got a green and ivory rug so pretty with this guy and I'll have to find some new shelving and stuff too but isn't he just the cutest little stinker? Oh, so he's a little sea turtle. And if you can see over here, that's kind of a funny place to put it. But on the back side of him, I guess that's supposed to be the back side. Then you will only know that an element warmer is on by this being plugged in and that little dot glowing red. So this will not be the easiest one to change unless you use something like a cotton cleanup. But he will be a wonderful element that will be mostly decor that will smell nice. And what is the wattage on this guy? 
we have a 60 hertz, 11 watt. This one's 11 watts. So he should actually perform pretty well, and he's just so darn cute. I have an ancient white, what is it, a sea urchin, and I've got a sweet grass basket and some other really beautiful summertime warmers that I'm going to be putting out here now that we've kind of redecorated and redone some things. And the carpet here in our front room, I just have this uh, home redo saga, which is wonderful. We just did the windows. The carpet here in the front room, we bought a couple years ago, very, very good carpet. And being that we are carpet cleaners by trade, we work very closely with one of the carpet suppliers in town that's been around for years. And we, on recommendations, got this carpet. Love the color, hides all the dog dirt, but it's been a year and a half and it's wearing terribly. So we're going to be getting something different that is under warranty to replace. And that'll be a little bit lighter, which will go better with the things in the back room and all that jazz. So that's just kind of, you know, where it's at when you are evolving your house and slowly redoing things because doing it all at once is too overwhelming and too expensive, but a little bit here and a little bit there. And eventually you can freshen things up and they look good. So now let's go into the rest of the summer collection. <laughs> I had to have this. It's just too cute. And I've seen, including my own Instagram, lots of people putting this on a purse or a tote. And this is basically a Scentsy Buddy for grown-ups. So it smells beautiful, comes in the cute little charm clip thing, just like you would have one of those Scentsy Bitty Buddies in. And I'm gonna start using this in the fall. I picked this up at an outlet, beautiful new tote type purse for fall. And this is perfect on something like this. Although the seashell summer, so I don't know. Am I going to use the purse earlier than I thought? Or what are we going to do here? So I'm trying to clip this. Aha. Yep, clip this on there. How cute is that? I'll probably cut off the tags, but it's really fun to have those little dangly charms on a tote or a purse or a diaper bag or something. So that'll be super, super fun. So next I wanted to do a trio of our counter cleans because we had a very nice scent as part of the summer collection that was available. Key lime and grapefruit, I got two of this. I opened this one because I wanted to smell it. This is such a good scent. This also comes in a bar. It's just this sweet key lime grapefruit sugar scent really really happy i love their counter clean so i got two of that here's the one i didn't unwrap and then i still have a soap a dish soap from before they discontinued them out of the catalog of our wonderful sunkissed citrus which i don't love in the bar but i like it very much in cleaning so i got that trio put it i think as a half off and that was very nice so the grand finale of this particular little rambly video here is going to be the Inside Out Emotional Whirlwind Collection. Now I let my older daughter, who if you heard my little promo video on this, she is for all the world. Very much like the character of Disgust in this Emotional Whirlwind pack. And I just teased her mercilessly yesterday. And I also think it's so funny that we're literally going to know the smell of fear here because we have joy, sadness, fear, disgust, and anger. And then I added the Bing Bong Bar that does not come in this pack, but I just added it in because I wanted to keep track of these yesterday. So there's a total of six, but they separated Mr. Bing Bong out so that you could either have him just with the stuffed animal, which I did not get. And I think that there's a scent pack that goes with him. Or when you get this, you get the five bars and there's a little spacer in there that's made out of cardboard. But this is truly your six cent collection if you add Bing Bong in for Inside Out, which is one of my girl's favorite movies. And they're actually, even though they're late teens, excited about the second one. I haven't looked at the promos or anything. I'm hoping it's going to be a good movie. So let's see what these things are supposed to smell like. So the Emotional Whirlwind 5 Bar Bundle is $30.00. And then of course, because it's licensed, it's 25 PRV, so that's its real value, but we have to pay the licensing. Then we have the Sensi Buddy that's 55, the just separate bar of Bing Bong that comes all by itself, that's seven. And then you can also get your scent pack for eight bucks. So I guess we'll just start with him. Let's welcome ourselves to Imagination Land, raspberry sugar, cotton candy, and sweet vanilla. So I bet this will be really nice. Oh yeah, this is happy, this is sweet. Very nice. Kind of reminds me of Candy Orchard from earlier in the year. But I think I like this better. This actually will be nice with Berry Bubble Blue, which is something that we just got in our kit for Bring Back My Bar when I want like a sweet candy day, which means I'm probably only gonna do it once, but 
this is nice actually who knows maybe i'll want a couple of this better than i thought it would be so then when we get into the emotions let's start with joy which of course is the happy golden one she's a great character and it says here, energetic lemon, golden pineapple, and cane sugar will put a smile on your face. And joy as a character certainly does. Oh, this is nice. This reminds me of the yellow bar from that rainbow collection a couple years ago. Oh, this is really nice. Lemon, cane sugar. I guess cane sugar is the scent of the season for spring with Scentsy right now. And golden pineapple, super pretty. I'm going to enjoy this very much. I like that. So joy is making me happy. Then we have sadness feeling blue, and it was so funny. So my 19-year-old, you know how women are. We have those days where we're just emotional, and we think we need sugar and all that. And she's, she's smelling these. And she's like, sadness is good, Mom. I said, we'll take a couple of cubes. She's like, oh, no, you still have to do your video. I don't want you to smell it at a time. I'm like, if you need some consolation from the sadness bar, go melt it. So she wouldn't on principle, but she liked it. So this is Dramatic Dark Waters, Evening Lavender, and Bergamot Deeply Touch Your Gentle Soul. Oh, this is nice. Yep, this is this is a scent that my older daughter would like. Oh, what does this remind me of? This reminds me a little bit of my hero. Really nice. Dark Waters, Evening Lavender, and Bergamot. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That is really nice. So that's three for three that I like. So next we have Fear. And I just think it's hilarious that you can have a Scentsy bar. That's the smell of fear. Grape, raspberry, and vanilla. <laughs> I mean, this guy, if you've watched the movie, he's so funny. Ooh. Okay. I knew I wouldn't like it just because it's grape. It's like grape candy. The raspberry helps a little. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I'll have to take one for the team and melt it just to report back to you, but I don't like that. Then that's just, you know. Grape bars are not my favorite. Okay, disgust. Turning green. Set high standards with Granny Smith apple, spun sugar, and a sassy hint of lime zest. And this face, I'm telling you, I've seen this face across the dining room table from me multiple times when I serve said child an offending dinner. Oh, this isn't bad. And again, this really reminds me a lot of the green bar from the Chase Rainbows collection a couple years ago. It's good. I mean, it's exactly what it is. Granny Smith, sugar, and a little bit of lime. But it's the good kind of Granny Smith. The ones in the Bring Back My Bar, those are more candy. This is a little bit more just green apple-y, and I prefer that. And then last but not least, anger, which that's really my father's struggle. If you want to see somebody in the family where they have a, a quick temper that it can be very explosive no you know my husband he's very expressive and he's very italian but it's like a short burst of expression and then it's over my dad he's needed the lord to work on this in his life red hot rage yeah an explosion of spicy cinnamon and clove fuels your fiery side i bet i'm gonna love the bar because you guys know i'm a cinnamon and clove addict mm, okay this is very nice now it's more like a candied red hot cinnamon to me It's not as rich as cinnamon bear, and it's definitely not spicy like clove and cinnamon, where there's super deep fall warmth. I do like this. Hmm. I'll have to melt it. I feel as though it just doesn't doesn't have a lot of personality. It's like a flat cinnamon bar. That makes me sad. I'm going to have to get cinnamon bear out and melt the two of them and see what's going on. But is it good? Yes. Do I like it? Yes. But... I, I always love spice, and this is not terribly exciting. So, okay, well, I really don't like this one. This is okay. Hopefully this will be better on warm, but this is just okay. And I really like these three. So that is an interesting, interesting um, development here. So all of what I have shown you today should be currently available unless something is sold out of clearance. So I hope that this was fun. I am really looking forward to staging my turtle with my new things that I just put together in the house. And I hope that you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. God bless. Bye-bye.